Hi again, this is Mike G from Mr GTV and I'm talking to you about war and the headline was today on GB News and lots of um, news media outlets that we're on the brink of World War Three. Do not believe it. This particular report is a piece of news that is 12 months old where there was a flyover and apparently um, we flew into what was almost like Russian airspace and then they took manoeuvres 12 months ago and they're reporting it now because they've received some flight details about the flight paths or whatever's happened or they've re retrieved uh, some information, some data and they're resurrecting an old story which is something that the media do they create a story to get clickbait in other words to get everybody to uh, buy the newspaper and uh, sensationalise the situation to get ratings regrettably at our expense because it puts us into chaos and fear well a lot of people uh, certainly not me because I don't believe a thing that we're being told by the mainstream media in fact I take with a pinch of salt what most people say to me unless I've got conscious contact with it so unless you've got conscious contact with war unless you've got conscious contact with financial hardship unless you've got conscious contact with restrictions on your liberties or um, struggling with your bills or finding food or anything that's going out there at the moment if it's not your personal experience then I would say it's none of your business and just enjoy a peaceful life I don't know anybody who doesn't want a peaceful life I don't know anybody who in what is a, a democracy but it probably isn't who wants war votes for war thinks war's a good idea glamorizes war and yet all the time the war machine the government etymology government to govern your mentality are telling us that we're on the brink of war this is to create fear fear f-e-a-r false expectations appearing real that's the acronym and a lot of the stuff is just a complete illusion even the situation that's going on um, well the iraq war was perpetuated on the lie like the vietnamese war and then we've got the Ukraine war, which again, if you do your research and do your research before you heckle me, um, that again uh, could have been stopped a long time ago. Uh, I won't talk about the fact that both Putin and the Ukrainians wanted a peace treaty, but that wasn't allowed by United Nations. And um, we won't get into the politics of it, but these war warmongers, these people who benefit from war financially and politically, um, increase their power control um, they're evil and they haven't got the public interest at heart you and me and people like you and me even the civilians on the other side um, you know if you go back to any war you think about the mothers of what we call the so-called enemy sending their sons and daughters to war and we send our sons and daughters uh, our sons and daughters to war and nobody wants that in a family you just want to be peaceful just want to be left alone to live your life you don't want to be controlled and sent to war none of these politicians go to war that they make the decisions and then they send us to war be peaceful and radiate peace be loving and radiate love uh, lobby talk to your mp or your local government council or whatever you are in the world whatever whoever you know runs your community um, and tell them that you won't give them your vote if they fund wars, encourage wars and send people to wars because wars have never worked uh, we've been at war for thousands of years uh, perpetuated by governments governing our mentality and telling us that we need to defend our human rights in my opinion the only people that we need to defend our human rights against are the people who are taking our human rights away which is our own government in our own country and look what's going on in the world for evidence of that so these headlines um, just dismiss them uh, news media dismiss what they say do your own research and live in your own bubble of peace love and happiness the world is a wonderful place um, and if you don't have conscious contact in other words you don't have a personal experience of uh, famine and flood and, and fires and, and wars and uh, homelessness uh, then pray for people who are in those situations and help if you're financially able to to do because that's kind share what you've got because you care um, but then live a joyful 
peaceful, blessed life and have an attitude of gratitude for your good fortune and bless the people with misfortune. But don't support the government. The government are always trying to govern your mentality and whoever you vote for, you always get the government and they're always against the people and for themselves. And that's the way it's always been and always will be. Be powerful, enjoy your mind, be peaceful. Think loving, kind thoughts. Take your mind off war. Don't go into fear. Go into self-control. Take care.